Oh my gosh, I haven't made a video in ages. <laughs> I'm kind of self-conscious right now about the way I look. Like, you can see the wrinkles on my neck and my bangs are all flipping out. I am a proponent more and more of speaking exactly what's on my mind. <laughs> so that's what was on my mind when I started this video. It's been a long time since I did a video and I've been thinking about doing one. It kind of pops in and then I don't do it and then it pops in again and then I don't do it. But today I saw a quote and I share some quotes on Facebook because I love them. And I saw a quote about how the the peace and love that we are looking for is not in someone else being present with us, but us being present with them. That actually our joy that we seek, our love and peace we seek is in connecting with others. And so I was thinking about this on my drive home and I'm in my car because when I get home I have two little dogs that are super excited to see me and they won't let me make a video or it will be very loud and obnoxious. So I'm in my car waiting to walk into the door. But anyway, I was thinking about this and how my mind is very analytical. It's been that way since I can remember. And it really serves me in many ways, like the kind of work I do when I get a day job. I'm a web programmer, and I've been doing that off and on since year 2000. I took a break from it, um, doing this type of mind-body work, uh, freedom facilitations. But then I went back to work because financially um, I wasn't getting there and I had to pay my bills. So I'm working now for six months and that's also why I haven't been doing many videos. And it's a brand new lifestyle and it's good for the most part. But I am drawn and called back to share, to write, um, and pick it back up. And I still do have clients and sessions uh, on the side after work and on the weekends whenever I can. I've also since then, and I will get back to my point, but I've also since then uh, have taken a yoga teacher training. So I'm now a certified yoga teacher in Vinyasa and started teaching community classes here in Denver and will also be teaching a laughter yoga class again twice a month at Denver Yoga Co-op. So anyway, that's my little brief history and my hiatus and why I was gone. But the point I wanted to make was about being present with others and that giving that presence is where the joy is and I'm sure you've heard this before if you want love then be loving if you want something from someone or anything from life give that exact thing so it's like if you want to be inspired be inspiring if you want anything really but I was thinking about my analytical mind and how sometimes I think about all these concepts and I think about all this spiritual knowledge and I'm, I just I just really find it really delicious and that's why I love the quotes because I'll think about a quote and kind of dissect it with the meaning like I kind of kind of try to extract the meaning for me and simplify it or embellish on it or find other meaning in it I'm a meaning making machine and so are you we make meaning of everything that we're experiencing and also we seek meaning from a lot of things we're experiencing. We seek meaning in quotes. We seek meaning in things that happen to us. And lately I've been thinking a lot about duality, non-duality, and, and this whole idea of how life is happening to us. Things are appearing. Life is just happening. And there's this whole concept in the non-dual kind of world about how, you know, really nothing means anything except for appearances. And this can really be broken down with beautiful inquiry work where it really helps you see through all the different meanings that you give to things. Um, and usually the things you give meaning to are things that are coming at you and happening to you. So it's kind of a victim way of living even though it's a it seems like a higher level when you understand that you are giving meaning to everything but there's still this seeking that's happening and finding meaning in things
things, finding meaning in a quote, finding meaning in your day-to-day life purpose and like trying to figure that out and trying to find meaning in, in what you're doing. And so I was thinking about making meaning versus finding meaning. Um, instead of asking what does it mean, you know, what can this mean? What can I make this mean? How can I live my life where I'm creating the meaning as I go versus finding meaning? Does that make sense? Meaning, meaning, meaning. <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah. How can I make the meaning in my life each day versus looking for little signs um, even seeing on the, actually what triggered all this was I saw a sign in the car in front of me and this license plate said W and K and it made me laugh. It's like a wink, you know, and I make meaning out of these license plates. They do talk to me and I see numbers and letters and then it kind of makes me feel good or it makes me think about deeper things and so I'm always seeking license plates or I notice them suddenly I'm not really seeking and it's just noticing um but what if you know in in that moment when it's coming at me I'm also making the meaning so am I taking it and seeking from it or am I making it or is it happening exactly at the same moment there's something I've been saying for a while, and it's a whole other big topic about how all our conclusions are creations. They are creations in exactly the moment we conclude and decide, this is how I am. In the moment you decide, this is how I am, you make meaning based on all these past things in your life that happened to you, that you have a collection of in memories, feelings that moment you decide and you say well I'm just a I don't know procrastinator and the moment you decide I'm a procrastinator and have all these uh, reasons all these collection of proofs in that very moment even though there's a collection of proofs and they pop in immediately to show you in that moment you are creating the the being the the identity from that you're creating meaning in that moment but you're also kind of that decision I am a procrastinator is created in the moment you say those words and feel them and decide because show me the procrastinator you cannot other than a collection of images thoughts sensations in your body there is no such thing as an actual procrastinator like show me representative person you can't so there's different ways to go about this my start was heavily with fast GFT and I have since then kind of shifted over to do more work with inquiry specifically living inquiries living inquiries with Scott Killaby's work and gang there's some um, senior facilitators that also have contributed a lot to this work um, and that's a whole other topic and I can talk about it more and I will talk about it more because I'm very passionate about it but right now I'm gonna go inside and see my little doggies who are waiting for me and they're super happy it's like I could leave for 30 minutes and come back and it's like I I left for a year it's just so wonderful <laughs> to be greeted like that every time wouldn't it be cool if we did that for each other Every time someone came through the door, they're brand new. You don't know. <laughs> like They're brand new. They're appearing to you in that moment. Yeah. And whatever. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.